Okay, so this is an easy, easy question. We'll start with your childhood. <laughs> You're recording this, aren't you? <laughs> or New Zealand. One day I will live in New Zealand. <laughs> oh, sorry, they're not as... I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Let go. It's a wrap. What? There's a weird, there's a weird freedom that you get when you're exploring other characters and other people, um, because we all have like little shadow selves and aspects of ourselves that we that, that exist on some level um, to elicit like a a real reaction, something that really changes a person. Improv's a beautiful way to do it because that's how people are. I don't know. Um, you, you, you get you get all those quirks of human nature and it's a weird paradox because you're performing um, but you're but you're trying not to perform or you're not even trying you're just you're not performing but you're performing it's it's that weird paradox and I love it I love that 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 bizarreness of being on camera whilst also maintaining your life and your natural being and character yeah I think it's really cool I love it I thrive on it. <laughs> to be in the moment, I think. I think that's what improvise, improvising is, is to just be present and be in the moment. And it was really easy with Tom and, and with Hannah to just be in the moment and, and acknowledge the things that were going around, uh, going on around us because we were shooting at like the X and the C&E and, and we weren't in a sound stage that was controlled. So. There's like a whole bunch of stuff happening around us and it's it's really fun to be able to acknowledge that and be present in that moment because it, I, I think, you know, it made for more real moments. You know, being an actor, it's not like when you get rejected for a role, it's, nobody tells you why. You just don't get the call saying that you got it. And so you just sit there and wait and you just don't hear anything. And that's like tough. Like I. It would be nice that if any casting agent was just like, well, you were good, but you know, your left eye twitched or something and we can't use that. Then whatever it is, then I could use that. But to just get nothing, it's like, yeah, just to be in limbo. It's like, it for me is the toughest thing, I think. I'd rather have somebody just point to me and be like, no, you're not right. I'll be like, fine. But yeah, that doesn't happen. I learned in film school to kind of forget about the camera, um, or that's the goal at least. And outside of character, yeah, for sure. I think it's, um, yeah, actors are like the most insecure people on the planet, so when you're you, it's different. Obviously talent is something, and you have to have a love and passion for it for sure, otherwise you'll quit you know, kind of wear you down. But if you really want to succeed and work consistently, you have to be unbelievably driven because there's a lot of no's and a lot of obstacles and um, you kind of have to champion yourself. I was that kid in school who would do all the group projects by herself because everyone's freaking lazy and I have to do end up doing everything because I'm like that type. And everybody knows they can rely on me to finish things. So to actually have a reliable collaborator who actually wants to be there is like a huge part of what I do. And it's just more fun. Honestly, why would you do things alone if you can do it with somebody else? Plus, like, everything's more creative with other people because everybody puts their two cents in, right? So you get kind of tunnel vision if you do things by yourself, right? But if you have everybody putting their input in, then you make a better product in the end. If you surround yourself with the right team, then you're set for life. Why do you think like the directors, certain directors work with the same people or the same actors every time? Like Leo, well, you know what I mean? Like they have their niche, their person that they go to because they know that they work well together. So you just have to find that. If you find your team, then you're like set, you know? Well, if it's like a big show, yeah, probably I'll get a bit of butterflies, but like, I like that. 
I prefer that. It gives you energy, you know? But what is it like to be funny then? Uh, like from a personal standpoint, oh, I, I I don't know what it's like. You have a boring, dry, fucking accountant type personality. My like my grandma was always super hilarious. So I think I get it from her. So my that's what my parents say anyway. My dad, uh, uh, I've only seen him laugh like twice. And we did a friend show last year, like a funny friend show, me and a bunch of other comics, and we were having beers at the bar afterwards. And one of my buddies was like. Hey, Mr. Marshall, yeah, Tommy says that you never laugh. My dad leans forward, he's like, yeah, and you didn't fucking see it tonight either. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a peach. You gotta be able to notice, like, the weird shit that goes unnoticed, I think. You gotta be a good liar, too. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's just a... I've only been doing comedy for, like, two and a half years, man. I don't know. That's good, like a famous guy. After this, you may be. Yeah. <laughs> For the wrong reasons, though. Can you sing something from me? Yeah! What do you want to sing? Anything. Uh... Uh... Okay. Do I love you, my oh my River deep, mountain high yai, yai, yai. If I lost you, would I cry? Oh, how I love you, baby! Baby, baby, baby. I don't know where that song came from. <laughs> I don't know why that was in my head. It's so random. <laughs> yeah. I like singing. <laughs> it's just a thing I do. <laughs>